Okay, this, this graph here has a plus two in the end, so I want to do one graph, so in case you see an example like that, or a problem that you have to do, you'll know how to deal with it. The plus two means that we're actually raising the graph up by uh, two units. So, what we're going to do first is I know first of all that if I answer this information, my amplitude is the absolute value of negative three, which is three. My period is two pi, divided by the number in front of the x, so 2 pi over 1 will be 2 pi. Now my phase shift, it may look like the c value is 2, but it's not. Your c value has to actually be inside of this, so sign of something inside. That's why I put these parentheses around it to indicate that x is the only one on the inside. So the 2, that would be like a d value, so that one's not used for phase shift. My phase shift has to be what's inside here. So in that case, my C value is actually zero again. So I get zero over one and I get zero. If you see these two things happening, if your period is two pi and your phase shift is zero, refers back to the same key points that I had before. So when I do the, uh, the graph here, I'm still gonna put down here. These are my same key points, pi over two, pi, three pi over two, and two pi. Now, the plus two means that what normally would be here on the x-axis, that axis actually gets moved up. So I actually have a new type of axis. It's gonna be at plus two. So if I go up two, I have a dotted line that goes through just like that. This would be like my new x-axis. So these key points I have down here, they actually get translated. I can go ahead and put them across on the dotted line. That's my new uh, horizontal axis, my new uh, x-axis there. Now, what, I'm going to base everything off of this dotted line. So when I draw this, my amplitude is 3. From the dotted line, I'm going to go up 3, up to here, and I'm going to go 1, 2, and down 3, this direction. So I'm going 3 above the dotted line up here, and 3 below the dotted line down below. The sine graph has to start on the x-axis. So because I, I moved it up two units, this dotted line becomes my new uh, x-axis. I'm starting it right there. It's a negative. Sine graphs normally will go up. If it's po for positive, you're going to go up. But because of the minus 3, we're gonna actually going to go down instead. Now, it's not going to intersect here. It's actually going to intersect right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this one here. It's actually at this point. This is going to be at at pi over 2, which would correspond to pi over 2 right here. So it's actually going to go down to this point. So at the pi over 2, it's actually down here. Then it'll come back up to the axis. Next key point, it's going to go up here to, all the way up here to 4, and then, or uh, 5 rather, and it's going to come back down to here. So the graph itself is going to look something like this. So it's basically this graph would normally be down below here and it would, I'd have these as uh, my intercepts, but instead the graph got shifted up two units because of the plus two on the end. So that's how you deal with the two on the end, it just moves the whole graph up. If it was a minus two, that means the whole thing would actually be shifted down here instead. So any number on the outside beyond the x, outside that trig function, that is your up and down movement.